let's just cut the crap. If you don't want to be in a committed relationship, I agree with Mark. What's his Mr. White Marcus and Mr. Clout? Don't be in a relationship. Be in a just be single, date, mess around. There's many women who are into that. But the problem is what Marcus said is a lot of guys want sexual access to women who are making their own autonomy decision not to deal with men who wants to be with multiple women, whether it's for health, whether it's for their spiritual health, whether it's for their mental health or their emotional health. So that's the reason why you lie. There's specific women that you want to have access to. And once you get the information that she is not down with that, you will do whatever or say whatever to get access to her. Then that is a problem. And then let's talk about the discipline part. Sexual discipline has been put on women for the beginning of time. I don't understand why men don't have sexual discipline. You have discipline in everything else. You should have somewhat dif discipline in that too. It should not be a problem. We're all doing things that's foreign. Even us living in a society and having laws and having societal norms is out of natural and nature. But we tend to know how to do it when we want to. So stop making excuses. So I, Ms. Take it, Ms. Take it posed a question saying, would I expect my wife to literally give her my, give her, give me her ass if she didn't want to? Uh, that's a good question. Literally give it to me. Can you, can you elaborate on what that means before I answer? Cause I don't want to, I like to answer it from a more educational and more practical way. <laughs> What do you mean by literally give me a ride? What you initially thought she was referring to about pegging. Um, what? Oh, I mean, on the opposite end. If you literally wanted God, anal and she was what? not, and she said no, do oh. you feel like because her body belongs to you, that she should submit and do that even though she's saying that she does not want to okay so we now we're talking about types of sex i was just talking about sex in general to go on the record i might have used ass sometimes when people say give me that ass it means give me that get yeah, coochie you know what i'm saying but if i just want to <laughs> this is a touchy conversation we talk okay so <laughs> If I just want her to give me them, give me that, give me Draw. some anal. Yeah, that's different. You know what I'm saying? That, that's I don't know too many women that kind of take to that and really find c comfort in performing that kind of intercourse. So I, I'm not gonna be as stern and firm on that as I am just having sex to natural way that God intended for us to. The anal sex, the that's reason, the only reason forbidding. I asked that was the way that you framed what you said, because uh, it, it did not 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 saying give me that. Ad. Now, I'm not talking about that part. I'm talking about the framing in which you said when there's no clear direction, then we're going to default to what my guy, what what I decide since I'm the head of the home. So that's why that, okay. that popped into my head. And you said and her body belongs to you. So if you get to defer to what is going to happen in your home and specifically in that arena, do you expect that she is supposed to just go ahead and give in to what you want, even though she's Why? not com want comfortable to do it? That's yeah. what I was trying to clarify. Yeah, it, That's it, it, I'm it, sorry, it, mom and dad. Why, Why do women always believe that when men have ownership of something, that that means they also inherently want to mistreat it? Like y'all, y'all seem to always think that because a man wants because y'all do. Do you don't but think that that has been women's experience? All right, all right, all right. So, so, so let's let's test that and and, and let let's test that. Right? Have you ever seen how a, most men treat their vehicle? Have you ever seen how most men treat their sneakers? They treat their vehicles better than their women sometimes. So what oh, are you talking about? Hold on, hold on. This is the point I'm trying to make. So that I can finish, so that I can finish, the point that I'm, the point that I'm trying to make, finish, the point that I'm, the point yeah, that yeah, I'm trying to make is that we seem to inherently believe somehow that men, because people, women say, oh, like women love to say, oh, I'm not your property. Be, and the reason why is because they tend to believe that men want to some, for some reason, mistreat their property. And it's like, if you know any men, real men, 
men love their property. They they take the best care of what belongs to them. Men will die for what belongs to them. Niggas die over chains because to protect their chains. So so I don't get like what men do you know that are just out here destroying the stuff that belongs to them, just out here out there smashing their windows for no reason and and slashing their own tires and crashing their car into a wall for no reason and and burning their own clothes. Men don't exactly. do that. So it's like, why do y'all think that if a man takes possession of you, that his ultimate goal is to just hurt you and mistreat you? All right, let's let's like DJ. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, y'all. Go ahead, DJ. Gaslight. Gaslight. It's a question. How am I gaslighting with a question? DJ, you know? I'm gaslighting because you know that literally there will be men out here that can be with a woman who gives them everything and they'll still treat them like dogs and crap. So, oh. like, I don't understand why Again, you want to do this question. gaslighting You can't situation. gaslight with a question because it's you're the one who has the opportunity it's to answer. Because you actually gaslighting is a statement. Do you know what gaslighting is? Gaslighting you, yes, is, 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 is making a statement. I do. I do. I do. Gaslighting but is making a statement to alter reality. Gaslighting is making a statement to alter reality. Gaslighting would be telling you something happen that didn't that happen or women that something they're didn't with, happen that did that they say that asking they you a question that they that qualifies, they that's 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 that qualifies as being inquisitive that's not gaslighting y'all yeah, gotta start learning what the words mean before y'all start spewing them no you're just gaslighting you don't know what gaslighting means learn it go go get the definition read it commit it to memory and then use words that you understand hold on hold on a second i'm sorry Go ahead, DJ. All Let's check in with Casey. I, I don't even remember what I was going to say, to be honest. You was going to say that it's not a like, men thing. It was a character thing. Well, you know what? <laughs> it's funny you say that because the minute that a man on this panel had the opportunity to show character, he actually gave in to money as soon as, as, soon as it was presented. So uh, I, I, I'll say that. But what I really wanted to talk about too Who gave is, in the money? Um, the idea. <laughs> the idea. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Y'all. Hold on. The idea the that I think what the issue out. was with Please. the original. The the I the I think what was triggering um Darren about your original conversation about obligation and sex and marriage is that would you really want your wife to give sex begrudgingly? Wouldn't you want to get down to the bottom of why maybe she's not in the mood to have sex or why she in that moment doesn't feel like having sex? Making that comment and saying that um, she, uh, she she's obligated to have sex with me because I'm married, it's a little bit off-putting because it's like you're not acknowledging her humanity and the fact that she could just be having a bad day. It may not have anything to do with you. It may have everything to do with you, but why not have a conversation? Why approach it with that mentality? The other thing I wanted to say is the reason why I feel like some men, not all men, because I know a lot of good men that have discipline, um, but the reason why the discipline is lacking is because, again, we're socializing men to believe that they are hardwired and it gives them an easy out to say, I'm a man, I'm boys will be boys. We're hardwired to do this. So it excuses them from practicing the discipline that women practice every single day. Do y'all know that we wake up every single day and make a choice? to be monogamous, to not talk to other men. Maybe we're not getting the same thing that y'all get out of sex, but that excitement, that feeling, that romance that you get in the beginning, that spontaneity, that newness that y'all chase, we want to chase that too, but we make decisions to do other things. We get excitement and joy out of being, out of getting to know different people and exploring different personalities and, and situations. We That's get excitement not what it out is. of that. And it's not Personalities and, and situations is foreign dick. Why don't you be called a spade? No, of it's not always no, but that's why I made that distinction because it's not always dick. Because uh well, it's pussy sex vibes. for women is different. That's why it's so bad for you because you're trying okay, to force something sure, more than you. You got it. Go ahead. Hold on, not bad. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. They get excited when I talk for some reason. <laughs> go ahead. No, but you to answer your question. I mean, if I go to my wife, and if I go to my wife and I'm like, "Hey, look, what's going on? Let's let's go and let's, the kids asleep, you know? Come on, I mean, let me talk to you real quick." I'm like, "Oh, I don't feel like it." I'm like, "Okay, I, I will, I will ask him." Like, "Okay, 
Well, what's going on? You all right? You know what I'm saying? And then she tell me that she just don't, she tired of some shit. I'll take that in consideration. You know what I'm saying? But she's giving me the, she's giving me, she's not denying me. She's just telling me she's tired. She's still willing to go in the room. But she's telling me she's tired, but she's not denying me. But she's giving me the opportunity to, to have a conversation and figure out what's going to happen next. You know what I'm saying? So I might be like, okay, well, it's been a couple of weeks or it's been a week or whatever. Can you just give me some head? You know what I'm saying? Or something. You know what I'm saying? We we got an opportunity to go down different avenues. What? Listen to what I'm so, saying. Wait. We got an opportunity to go down, visit other avenues. Now you have a problem with consent. our sexual desires versus just being in a oh sexless situation. And right. it's called compromise. You know what I'm saying? 